Oh boy, Warpath. Uh, this is something I kind of mentioned in the Epicenter video, but despite this being possibly my second favorite Team Fortress Classic map, map only next to Badlands being my absolute favorite, I always forget about it. Like, frankly, it, it's one of those weird things where, you know, when you start thinking back in the game and, like, you talk about things you like about it, I'll bring up Badlands. I'm like, oh yeah, that map's great. One of the, like, the top uh, capture the flag maps of all time. And then I'll forget about this entirely, but then I'll either have it see hear it mentioned, or I'll just see it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's great, too, yeah. This is the one of the best control point maps of all time. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's really good, very balanced. Um, it's stalemate but not... It, okay, I say stalemate but it actually is possible to win rounds. It's just, you have to be really good, but it doesn't feel like it's, like, Rock 2 or, like, Epicenter... Or that's very rare to happen. You actually will see people win ra mount rounds here, just at a very slow rate. But that's less because the map is like it, the defense. It's so well balanced that you know even a somewhat unskilled defense could still hold up against a really good offense. But eventually, that really good offense will still break through. It's just really well done in that regard. Um, also, again, another one where aesthetically just looks nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, let's go check it out. Yeah, so the way this one works is that this works a lot more like the control point um, mode in Team Fortress 2 where there are actually five control points um, and the map is symmetrical and if you want to capture the point, you don't have to carry a flag or anything. You just have to touch the control point much like you would in TF2. However, you just need one person to do it and it's instantaneous. So the moment, you know, like someone touches the control point here and when it's neutral, then it's captured. Um, it's not, don't expect it to be spammable though and like really stupid because when a flag is captured, it takes 15 seconds for it to be, be able to be captured by the other team. So it's not stupid in that regard. So like, you know, you won't have like people constantly stuck on this bridge trying to like, you know, constantly like to capture this one. Um, and obviously the thing is you got to do it in sequential order. So if you're the blue team, you're going from one to five. And if you're the red team, you're going from five to one. Um, so let's break it down this way, because I just need to show one side. So here's the bridge area, as is every definitive proper Team Fortress Classic map. There's a bridge area. Though, in this one, you won't be... Because of the fact that you're moving forward and the spawn points change, because here, here's a spawn point for the uh, blue team, and then eventually... No, I'm sorry, which one? The Probably the red team, sorry. Eventually, the red team can spawn here. See, watch. It's not open just yet. But it will be in a bit. So let's give it a second here. Or am I been rused? I swear you don't carry a flag here. No, it takes a while to open up because, like, you know, the gate... The round doesn't start immediately in the sense, like, you know, people can immediately start walking out. Uh, like, there's a little bit of a start-up time before uh, you can go and start actually moving and attacking the enemy base. I, I want to show this off just because I know I'm not crazy. I, I swear I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Guys, I'm not crazy. You just touch this and it's active. It's a capturable. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? So yeah, now it's going to be a couple seconds now that blue team's grabbed it. Um, in 50, After 50 seconds, this will open up and the red team can now touch it and capture it. But at the same time now, red team's uh, control point four. Yeah, see? Now it's capturable again. See? Once the symbol appears. All right, good. I knew I wasn't crazy, but it just, you know, it's one of those things you doubt yourself sometimes. Yeah, see, there you go. Now red's grabbed it. And now the spawn points change. The spawn points change, obviously, depending on what points are captured and such. So anyway, going down, you have these downwards area here, which are initially blocked up. Obviously, you can drop a debt point here, or as a demo man, you can drop a debt pack here to break it open. And when you do that, it'll also burst open this wall. And then obviously... It's kind of like other maps where it's a double-edged sword, where it allows you easier access to the, command, the capture points on your enemy's base, but it also gives them a chance to move into the capture point three easier. I don't know if it's possible if for an enemy to, like the, your like the dev man on your team to lay down another debt pack and block this up again. I swear I've seen it happen, but I haven't seen it done recently. So don't quote me on that. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, here's the main area. A lot of action with snipers, heavy weapons, guys. Uh, most of the time, the map's going to be held to here for about half of the time. Then eventually someone's going to capture this point and hold off the defending team so they can't get back here. And then slowly, it just that's kind of when the map turns. 
And you're very rarely ever going to see them, like, you know, the defending team be able to break back through. It's happened before, but, you know, it's very rare. So anyway, let's start going this way. You got these cool-looking tunnels here that are, like, light, lit up depending on what your team is. I love it. You get to this area here, which, before we talk about the base itself, there's this area here that leads over back to the bridge area. Obtensely, this is for the attacking team, or the defending team, to have a chance to try to get back and, like, you know, reclaim the, um... Put Crab Troll Point 3 here again. But obviously, the attacking team can also conquer, rock, jump, or even, like, you know, pipe bomb, jump right back up here and use it as another way to get into the enemy base. So that's just another element of strategy. Um, you got a lot of strategy here for if you're the defending team. Obviously, snipers are going to be have a good time, uh, you know, shooting at people coming either that way, that even there, they might have a chance if they're, like, up here, in, like, the ones that's blowing, they could be watching. Or they could be even shooting here. Take advantage of these buildings here, too, if your defender's, like, the heavy weapons guy or other people. And, you know, build teleporters and stuff. A lot of really good spots for building, like, sentry guns here. Um, and then obviously here is where the capture point to 4 or 2 is, depending on where your base is. Um, obviously you want to take advantage of that. Um, like, building a sentry here. If you can build a sentry here, even. It's one of the few times I recommend building a sentry guy right next to a capture or flag point, just because of how cramped in this is. Uh, you've also noticed this hole here. If you're really, really good... I have not done this myself. By the way, here's another spawn point. This is where you'll be... Um, I don't know, like, you know, exactly the, which control point you'll... What is captured and when you'll spawn here, but just keep that in mind. If you're stupid good... And by the way, I'm going off topic again. Be an engineer, build engine and sentry guns in here. I recommend it. Um, you can totally make that jump if you know how to crouch jump and stuff. I've seen not only scouts or, like, you know, medics or anyone... Like, you know, immediately jump out of this hole and work their way towards the next capture point, the final capture point, after capturing it. But if you're really good as a, like, you know, center, like, you scout or medic, you could totally con ch conk jump into this hole. I've seen it done, and I don't know how the hell people get good enough to do that. But they have, and it's fucking insane. But, of course, this guy's prepping up. You could totally build up here, as you can see. Totally snipe up here, too. So, from there, you, towards the final capture point is where a lot of the stalemates happen, but... Despite this looking like a hopeless situation just because there's a spawn point here and stuff like that. Don't let anyone tell you you can't break through with a good offense here. I don't care how good the sentry, like the snipers are here, the heavy weapons guy, soldiers, heavy, like, you know, engineers building this stuff. It is totally possible to break through. Because then you have a few options once you get up here. You could go this way. Also, this works well as an engineer too if you want to build a defensive one. Build a sentry gun here if you want to block him off. From a vital entry point, but obviously if it's not built, like, nothing's built there. Take advantage of this and, like, you know, rocket jump or scout jump up as, like, you know, someone to try to get up into this, like, you know, the last spawn, like, the control point here. It's entirely possible. Um, obviously you want to keep the heat up to the main entrance here. Get your attacking engine, like, heavy weapons guys and, like, soldiers here. That's what I recommend, just to keep the pressure up. There's another spawn point, too. I think these activate around the same time. I can't remember. Um... Obviously, more areas either, like, you know, be defensive up here. Or also, if you're defending, this will give you an opportunity up here to try to, like, you know, snipe and, like, you know, keep them from here. This is a good sniping spot, I recommend, because the enemy team, the attacking team can't see you as far back. If you try to snipe here, I, I tend to find that it's way too easy to get just attacked ruthlessly right away from them spawning. But at least here, if you do it from here... There's this wall here to protect you, so you have more of an opportunity. Obviously, sniping here can be stupid effective, but your aim has to be, like, you know, you gotta be, like, top tier 1% of the snipers to be getting constant hits here. But obviously, someone's gonna be really good at sniping anyway, so, you know, this is a great sniping point. This is a great point for sentries, of course. Build them here, too, because then it blocks off people from just running into here. And then, obviously, you know, there's also this, even this area, too, sniping. There's a lot, it's just really well balanced. It really tries to work with everyone's, like, class's strengths and weaknesses. I didn't show off the uh, default uh, initial starting point, like, point. I might as well just do that real quick. This is what it looks like. Now you know! And, yeah. And trust me, even if this looks insurmountable, like, this looks like a Rock 2 situation where, like, the attacking people should never be able to break through and get to this spawn point. Trust me. I've done it myself as a scout and medic. Just conk jumping and just, like, bunny hopping. The few times I've been able to... Uh, sorry, I fucking pressed the wrong button. The few times I've been able to, like, you know, successfully, like, bunny hop or anything. 
just flying through and like no one noticed me and just totally ran up there and grabbed it. It is one of the absolute best feelings you can have playing this game. And it's one of the reasons why this is my second favorite map. Let's do it, man. Also, 32 play people full server at all times. This is this is a map that's begged to be played with a full server. It's big enough, it's wide enough, there's a, like enough different little ways to go that, you know, it doesn't get too cramped. Even at the end when, like, it's at the final control point, you know, it's big enough and, like, it works in its favor to have that many people moving at once. Because it's on, on, ironically one of the few times having more people speeds things up. Because there's just so many, like, 16 versus 16. You know, your resolutions, you know, like, you know, your conflicts get resolved a lot faster that way. This is just a great map for mischief and strategy and everything. It's great. It just, it has everything. I maybe even want to say that this is better than Badlands. I don't know, because Badlands is just so solid, but this one is just so well balanced. Well, Badlands is really well balanced, too, for all classes. But this one, the shenanigans are just insane. I couldn't tell you. We'll just have to play it and see. All right, I'm going to go Demo Man real quick, because I want to blow that up. And then I might switch to Engineer again. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. And this will be good. Obviously, just playing this, I'll be able to show you how the, um, like, dynamic spawn points work in this map. I don't know, like, I, I, back to what I said, too, like, about this having great atmosphere. It's just, I don't know what it is, but every time there's, like, a daytime map in the desert like this in this game, they just look nice. I, it, it, it doesn't even make sense to me, because it's really blocky and low-res looking, honestly, if I gotta be completely objective. But it's just appealing to look at. Whoever was responsible, nice little train of medics, by the way. Whoever was responsible for the light direction in this game, as I've said before, is just a genius. I don't remember this one being impossible to break open like Crossover 2, so... I think this one just works on the first go. We'll find out. Yeah, see? I don't know why Crossover 2 is so freaking like, you know... You know, picky about it. Oh, these grenades! I'm serving these hot grenades all day! Goodness gracious! Oh man, we already got the point too. And eh, no, I'll stick to Demo Man for a bit. No one else is being Demo Man right now, so. And you can obviously, uh, you know, as a rock rocket jump out there too, if I didn't make that clear. Hey! Oi! It's mine! It's mine! I'm gonna stick around until I die. I don't want him taking it so easily. Oi! Oh, if I didn't make it clear just by talking about it and, like, you know, general observation, this is really the granddaddy of the TF2, like, you know, control point maps. Like, you just even in terms of, like, you know, flow and stuff like that. Like, there's a lot of DNA overlap. Um, which makes sense considering this is a predecessor to that game, but, you know. I don't know why I used all my grenades here. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. But, yeah, you know what I mean, though. There's just a lot... A lot this map was really influential, even if it was unintentional. Hell, I don't know what map it is in TF2, but there's like one with a central bridge kind of like this. That's a standard control point map. If you played that game enough, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. It's not a remake of this, but there's a lot of like, you know, very, you know, broad similarities. That it can't, that it can't be like a, a coincidence that they're, they're so similar. Someone had to have looked at this one and actually said, hmm, I like that one. I want to do something similar. And now some, before anyone tells me and like, you know... Comments, yes, someone actually did really, way early in TF2's existence. Like, I mean, in 2007, someone actually did uh, put this into Team Fortress 2 almost identically. Um, but yeah, that's not the same thing I'm talking about. There was an official uh, TF2 map that like has a very a lot of the broad similarities to this. It's like in, like, you know, Woodland, kind of. What the hell? I, kn I know what map it is, but I no longer know the names of most TF2 maps because it's been so long, sadly. No scouts, though, huh? Well, that can't be good. Let's be scout now. I, I tend to be this. I tend to be actually pretty decent at scouting this map. Really, scout and medic are my best classes because, again, I, I've alluded before that my aim and, like, you know, general offense in these kind of games is not that good. It's my movement I tend to be pretty good at. Like, I just know how to move around really well. If I'm ever going to give myself credit for something in one of these games, I mean, if everyone hey, look at that, I was even able to salvage that fuck up of a like, you know. Conk jump there. Oh, well, threw that grenade way too early. I always like trying to conk jump over this bridge and just land right near the entrance there. I goofed it up, of course, because, you know, I lost my bearings. But, you know, you see what I mean. There's a lot of... If you're a conk jumper and you're really good at it, there's a lot of opportunities to just absolutely dominate on this map. To, like, levels I can't even comprehend because I'm a freaking dirty casual. 
Because that's what happens. I tend to... Once the underground area is kind of blown up, I tend to let my other, like, you know, teammates worry about that. I try, like, to keep the pressure on this little route here. Yeah! Well, I still screwed that up. Because you can fly right over. Oh! I keep forgetting about the wall there. Oh, but I... Whoa, whoa, what, what, what? Oh, that could have been absolutely freaking bonkers. If, you know, I took advantage of the enemy's own offensive fire to get me over to the spawn point. That would have been just absolutely gut slapping. Oh, God! The fucking geometry's eldritch here. It keeps sucking me into it. Yes! Like that! Oh, I still kind of flubbed it, but you see what I mean. You can just fly right the hell over there if you don't mess it up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Yes! Yes! Ha! Dork! 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 Dorks! Suckers! That would have been sick if I was able to get out and keep running. Come on, guys! We're gonna get them out of there so we can keep pushing them up. Because that's the problem. Once you have that control point, you need to keep moving. Or else, like, the... Yeah, see, that's what I mean! Because then the blue team's just gonna... Or, like, red team, if you're on the other side, it's just going to grab it again, and it defeats all the purpose. You gotta keep the pressure on. Once that's set, like, the... Once there's only one control point left on, like, the enemy's side, you just need to go all out, just balls to the wall, and just slap them silly. Or else it's just not gonna work. See, here we go. We got... We, we just got a command point, too. Just go! Don't even worry about it. Don't even think about it. See, you're just not pushing! You just don't have the same motivation team as I do for getting these points captured. It's freaking unreal. Damn it! So, uh, when I, like, what I like doing as a sniper here is going down this way. If you're an, if, trying to be an offensive sniper. And just trying to pick them off from here because this will really drive them nuts. Obviously, you actually got to be a good sniper for this to be effective. So, you know, obviously it's not going to be effective with me. Oh, never mind. That was actually not a bad shot. Oh, never mind. I'm very shocked right now. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, yeah. See? There you go. So someone blew it up. I was correct. Although, I think when you do this, I believe the hole... Remember that, like, that other like kind of hole in their wall? I believe that stays open. Not that that really makes a difference, but that does technically mean... <gasps> You could be sitting here and, like, you know, should be shooting through that. Not that it had much purpose. Well, after I die, uh, I better go open that up again, though. I can already tell my the other three demo man on my team ain't just, just not gonna be able to figure that part out. Move, idiot! See you right there, you fucking moron! Oh, wait, then again, I think you're a spy. I love watching corpses fly around in this game. It's so satisfying. It never gets old. Oh, damn it! See, now look at what you've done. Ugh. Well, I'll just hang on tight here so I can capture the uh, third spot for us again. I mean, they might do that too for me, but still. Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck off. There we go. We got push. We got to push, guys. What are you doing? No way. Oh, you tickled my foot. Right there. Textbook. Uh, no! And, uh, yeah, Warpath. It is the path to a great time, if that's what you're looking for. Badlands is better. 